There are a lot of people who are going to tell me that Space Station 13 is a game of skill, and I'm about to dispel that with a pretty easy uh, video here. So let's go ahead and get into it. I go ahead and get my round start. I'm playing my piece of shit IPC, and uh, I've been selected for Traitor. I have all my stuff there, as you can see. I'm going to zoom in on it. Got my code words, my potential collaborator who's pretty much guaranteed since I have to exchange documents with him. And I've got a target to kill along with escaping alive. Pretty easy stuff, actually, considering they usually have me stealing fucking jetpacks every single fucking time. But uh, automatically it goes pretty well. I'm able to make contact with uh, Beer. Go ahead and exchange my documents stealth-like. Uh, things go to shit pretty quick, though, because security picked up on it somehow. I have no idea why. Uh, I guess it's because my friend Beer probably picked up his jetpack that he had the objective for. But anyway, I'm getting questions. As you can see, shit is just going down. I am in no condition to fight. I'm a shitty IPC, but I'm able to actually slug my way through this. But I basically make them take their sweet fucking time in this room. And uh, that, and they can't tell the difference between a regular door and an electrified door because they throw themselves under this fucking electric chair seven fucking times until they're so critted and worn out from just being around me, I guess, that they just fucked off. Now, you might call that a miracle. Uh, it certainly was, because if I'd been caught there, I would have lost everything. Uh, they would have opened up that Bible, found that I had a secret document on me, and I'm sure that's enough to perma-break me. Uh, even if it, even if I said something like, oh, I found it, I, they would still probably perma me. Uh, so anyway, um, I realized that I've been spared by the grace of God, and they're probably going to med bay to get fixed up, so I've got a very limited amount of time to get this shit off of me. I don't want to spend any tele crystals. I think that would be stupid. It's obviously going very well for me, and I'm uh, Psychem. I've got more than enough uh, weaponry in my arsenals. I've got heparin and blood thinner and fucking neurotoxins up the ass. Uh, there's no need to even call the syndicate on this one so i'm just going to go ahead and create a room and hide it now that goes pretty well um except for the fact that literally 10 seconds later there's some type of fight between a fucking construct here and security is now crawling through maintenance so now i've got to fucking move that it's a miracle i get through there so now i'm still walking around with that shit on me uh but things things are still looking up it, we are about one hour and 45 minutes into the game uh, my target who I was going to kill probably by um, uh, use of heparin and uh, cape or capulin, whatever it is that knocks you out. Uh, and either way, she, there's no way I wouldn't have been able to pull it off myself. Uh, I just had way too much tech in my range and she was way too trusting of me. But somehow she got blown up or something, so I didn't even have to bother with her either. So there we go. Both of my objectives are completed. Now I just got to complete my shift. So I'm just doing what anybody would do here. Uh, security's obviously checking me out still. They might want to bring me in, but they go one way and I decide to go the other. And when you fucking know it, RNG Jesus just decides to spawn a temporal anomaly, some type of blue space fuckery that just eats me up right here and sends me and this fucking naked floozy off into the death cage in space. Now, there's not a whole lot I can fucking do here. I do have an implant, obviously, but I don't know how to fucking take down this door. And even if I did, it's a lot of fucking steps. It's like six or seven fucking steps to get through these fucking doors. So I do the only logical thing I can think of. I scream into my microphone that I need help and enable my fucking suit sensors for the desperate hope that somebody's going to come and find this stupid robot piece of shit and his new nudist friend. But it doesn't fucking matter because it's an hour and 50 minutes in. So right now they're more concerned with just trying to keep the incredible tide of gray titers alive. These fucking halfwits from space who didn't get enough oxygen at fucking birth. So yes, even after everything I put in, after charming my way or I guess stalling and buying enough time and being able to get away from a situation that was normally fucked, having my target die... And essentially being all set and good and jolly, uh, basically just fucked by R and Jesus. So when people tell me there's skill involved with this game, it's just, an, it, I, I don't know what else to say. How can you justify this? So obviously I'm a little upset. Uh, I think uh, after three times of constantly getting incredibly tough traders and finally getting an easy one in which I'm actually able to complete, uh, having even the smallest amount of luck or charm if you want on my side 
uh, basically just thrown out the fucking window because a bunch of numbers on a side of the screen, not a player base choice, mind you, not some other syndicate hitting me, not aliens, not lay blob coming through fucking mate just destroying me or getting hit by a uh, a fucking welder bomb just in the wrong place by some asinine gray titer. No, just because a bunch of numbers were punched behind the scenes that I couldn't even fucking see. That that justifies killing my entire run and failing me on this fucking mission. You can take these three greens and shove it. 